Hey everyone, so today's look is a lot prettier than what I've been doing recently for Halloween. This is inspired by a sugar skull and I kept the colours very very simple just because I feel like it is a little bit less overwhelming for you guys. If you're a beginner you can totally just do what I've done or if you feel like it you can totally amp it up and add even more colour. The more colours the better but I just kept it very very simple for you guys. This look is not very difficult, it's just very time consuming and you need to take your time and just be very careful so that's why I am speeding up a lot of the tutorial just because otherwise it's gonna be like an hour long so first off I'm just starting with a white face paint all over my skin as my base once all of that is on I'm then taking a cheap white eyeshadow just to set everything down next I'm taking a white eyeliner and I'm using this to draft out where I'm gonna be putting the circles around my eyes because you won't be able to see it and it just makes it so much easier rather than you just kind of winging it so that's what I'm doing here just mapping out exactly where I want the color to be and then after you've done that take a eyeshadow base I'm using milk by NYX and then I'm going to go over that with a pink eyeshadow I'm choosing pink you can do any color you would like And this is what it'll look like once you've filled it all in. So I'm just doing the exact same on the other side. Next, I'm using a silver eyeshadow. You can use anything you want. I'm using the Stila one just because it's got a foil effect. So it looks really, really pretty with the glitter and everything. Um, and I'm just kind of putting that around my eye. I'm just kind of doing... Um, dots around my eye almost like petals of a flower and I'm leaving a little space in between each one because I want to alternate the color with a purple which I will do next now it is time to outline whatever you've put on your face so I'm going to be outlining the circle in the middle and each little petal and I'm using a black eyeliner for this but this one has a little bit of glitter in it you can totally use a matte one if you want but I just like the glitter effect like I said before so I'm just outlining everything and I did two layers of this just to make sure it was nice and opaque Next I am taking a pink pencil and filling in my eyebrows with this just to add a bit of dimension to my face and I just think it looks really cool. Totally optional, you can do whatever you want. I just like the kind of duochrome, no it's not duochrome, what am I saying? It's like multi-tonal pink on my eyes, <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm going in with the eyeliner again on my nose and just kind of drawing on a skull nose. You can totally do this however you want, there's lots of pictures online you can take inspiration from. I'm just doing a kind of pointy triangle shape. And then I'm taking a white lipstick and applying that to my lips. Now I'm adding in the skull teeth. So I'm taking my eyeliner and applying that in a line from my mouth to kind of show like the open mouth effect, you know what I mean. And I'm also putting a little bit on the inner parts of my lips and then I'm going to start um, drawing in every individual tooth. And I'm going to finish this later but yeah you'll see what I'm going to do soon. This is the first step and then once I've done that I'm doing some additional decoration on my face so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If you search sugar skulls on Google you'll see heaps of different designs you can choose from. I just really like the little swirly so that's what I'm doing. pink eyeshadow on a blender brush and I'm just putting a little bit of this on my forehead and on my chin to add a little bit more shading and then after that I'm also going to put some on my cheeks as a
I'm taking a deeper reddish pink just to kind of contour as well so I'm putting that underneath the pink that I just used and then that is the cheeks done. As I said before, the mouth wasn't complete, so now we're going to finish it. I'm just taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, and I'm adding in the teeth in between the outlines. It's just going to brighten up the white and look a lot better. You'll see the difference. I just think it adds so much more, you know, detail. It just looks way cooler. So I'm just doing that all along, even up the sides of my cheeks. These lashes are beautiful. They're new to XO Beauty and they're called the Prima Donna. They're just really, really beautiful and long, so they suit this look perfectly. I just think they really look super feminine and girly. I just love them. After brightening up my eyes with a little bit of white eyeliner, I'm going to complete the look with a few flowers in my hair. And if you have a flower halo kind of headband thing, that will look so much cooler, but I don't own one. So I'm just making do with some fake flowers that I found around my house and clipping them into my hair. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this and creating it. It was I don't know. I just, it was so much fun. I loved it. I really love how it turned out. I'm really proud of it. So yeah, I hope you guys like it too. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and I would love you so much if you would share it on any of your social medias. It really helps me get my videos out there and I really appreciate it. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys really, really soon. I love you all. Bye. And then I'm going to contour with this color out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm starting with this shade, which is a very natural shade. But then once I've put that on, I'm going to take a dark gray eyeshadow and buff on top of that. And that's just going to make it look a lot less healthy. It's going to take away that kind of glow and just really make you look tired and exhausted. Now I'm deepening up my lash line with a black eyeliner and putting a little bit on the outer 